It genuinely blows my mind that people aren't using these simple strategies to get monetized on YouTube faster. I just monetized one of my newest faceless YouTube channels in under 30 days by applying these techniques. And I did that to prove to you that this is not luck. I've been running successful faceless YouTube channels since I was in high school. And I know for a fact that growing successful YouTube channels is more than just luck. And these strategies are exactly how I'm running over a dozen different faceless YouTube channels. I got me play buttons just like this and my absolute fastest record for getting monetized on a brand new channel and meeting the threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, which allows you to put ads on your videos and then you in turn get a cut of that ad revenue is in just under two weeks. In 13 days, I was able to enter the YouTube Partner Program, which is absolutely insane. And most channels do not do it that fast. In fact, most of my channels that I run have not done it that fast. Now, at this point, you might be saying, Matt, 4,000 hours watch time, 1,000 subscribers, subscribers, isn't it going to take forever to reach those milestones? And see, that's the problem. A lot of people are intimidated by these numbers and they think they're so big, but what a lot of people don't understand is that it's simply a math equation. For example, my personal channel that you're watching right now, Make Money Matt, it gets nearly 4,000 hours of watch time every single day. Now at this point you might be saying, Matt, but it's taking you years to build up this channel and get to that point. And my answer to that is absolutely. However, you only have to get 4,000 hours of watch time total on the history of your entire channel. And let's break down the math so we're not intimidated by this. Just understanding this and understanding the math behind this is the first step for making this happen. Let's say you were to take a month and go all in on YouTube, meaning you upload a new video every single day for the entire month. And let's say that every one of your videos is about 12 minutes on average in length. And let's say each one of those videos has an average view duration of about 50%. Now we might be being optimistic. We might be even estimating low for some channels. Every channel is different. These are just estimations. That would mean that you're getting six minutes of watch time for every new view that you get. And in order to get 4,000 hours of watch time, you would only need 40,000 views. Now you might be saying, Matt, 40,000 sounds like a huge number, but it's really not if we break it down between 30 different videos, if we take a whole month uploading a new video daily. In fact, you only need a little bit over a thousand views per video. And this number can go even lower if you upload more videos. Now, realistically, you're not going to get the same amount of views between all of your videos, obviously. In fact, most of your views are going to come from a small percentage of your uploads. Typically, what I've seen across my YouTube channels is that around 90% of the views come from only 10% of my videos. And those 10% are what drive the majority of views. So even if a lot of your videos barely get any views, if you only have a couple pop off, you can still hit that 40,000 total views across your channel 100%. And also, most of your first videos are barely going to get any views, but then a couple may explode if you implement the right strategies. And I'm going to be sharing some secrets with you in this video. Now you might be thinking, Matt, that sounds great, but what about the thousand subscribers I have to get? How am I going to get that? Well, you see on average for YouTube channels, the average channel has a one to 3% view to subscriber ratio. This means that for every 100 views that an average channel gets, they get one to three subscribers. Now for my faceless channels, it's more like 1%. Whereas on my personal channel right here, it's upwards of 3%. So let's put your number somewhere in the middle. Let's say you get two subscribers for every 100 views that you get. So for those 40,000 views that we estimated, if just 2% of people subscribe, you're going to get 800 subscribers, which pretty much brings you all the way there. It's only a matter of time until you hit 1K. Now, just a little disclaimer, this is obviously a hypothetical scenario and every channel is different. I can't guarantee that if you upload videos every day, you're going to automatically get 100 subscribers. However, I want to help you hit that milestone as fast as possible. So I'm going to break down my secrets that I've learned on my decade here on the platform. And what I can guarantee is that I'm going to straight up show you what I've done. You see, most people on YouTube, they guess and hope what is going to work. However, not many people actually go in with a plan and a strategy. And I want that to be different for you. I wish I had a video like this when I was first starting my channel. So let's get into secret number one. You see, a common mistake that a lot of YouTubers make when they're first starting on the platform is guessing what is going to work and what's not. And you can't really blame them because they just don't know. 
channel. And I personally was the exact same way. But a huge advantage that you can have if you're just starting a channel is to just not guess. Literally just take inspiration and model what has already worked on YouTube. And if you see multiple videos on a certain subject that you're thinking about doing, getting over 100,000 views, then check that box. That could be an incredible video to model. And this may seem trivial, but this is actually how you get monetized on YouTube fast. Now let's get into secret number two. And this is something not a lot of people think about, and it's a little bit outside the box, but trust me, this works amazing. Once you find a few good video ideas on some different channels, consider combining them into a single video. Let me explain. For example, on my personal channel you're watching right here, my two top videos are the laziest way to make money online, and then also how to make money on YouTube without making videos. Those are my two top videos. So if we combined them, what would that title look like? Well, if we do some thinking here, we could do a title similar to laziest way to make money on YouTube without making videos. So we're taking two aspects that have already worked. If they're within a single niche, this could be a match made in heaven. And you can take inspiration from already viral YouTube channels. So let's say you're starting a faceless YouTube channel, like a lot of my audience is. And let's say you're going into the travel retirement niche, which helps people figure out which countries are the best to retire in. And as you can see, this channel right here called Scary Harry does exactly this, gets a ton of views by the way doing this. And let's say we wanted to implement this technique of combining two already popular videos. What you can essentially do is take a look at a few of these videos, like if we're going through here, as you can see, one of the videos is 10 easiest countries to retire comfortably. And another top video is 15 safest countries to live. So what if we combine them and we did 15 safest countries to retire comfortably, right? So I just wanna show that this concept works for all types of channels, for evergreen content. And if you're combining topics within a single niche, however, you can even look outside of your niche to see what types of videos are working and hopefully you can get some more ideas from that. Now let's get into secret number three, which is if you see titles, thumbnails, and topics working well on other people's channels, they could potentially do really well for you also. For example, if you see that within your niche, there's a lot of text in thumbnails or the contrary. If you see that faces in thumbnails seem to do good within your niche, make sure to model that and double down on what works and cut out what doesn't. Now you're probably asking, Matt, if I do all this and model what works, how is my video going to stand out? Isn't it going to just be one among thousands of other videos out there on YouTube that are the exact same? And the answer to why people would watch your video over other people's is value. And here's how you can make your videos more valuable. And this will in turn help you get monetized way faster as well, because at the end of the day, the algorithm is literally just a reflection of people watching it to a large degree. And it's pretty easy in theory to make your videos very valuable. And here's how you do it. What you do is open up three of the top videos within the topic that you're thinking about, and then watch through each video. Sometimes I like to do this at 2x speed and write down all the top points from all three of the top videos and then incorporate these points into the scripts in your videos and you will give 10 times the amount of value as any one of those videos because it'll all be in one for your desired end audience. Another great strategy is to go into the comments section of those videos, see what questions people have, any additional comments or concerns or anything like that and make sure to answer those or include those within the video to give that additional value. So that will make your video stand out a lot more. All we're really modeling is for example, the packaging of the video and the video idea itself, but our video will stand out by a ton if we implement this secret that I just shared with you. And when I'm saying value, I'm not just talking about how to content either. Value can be either educational or entertainment value. Both of those are value propositions. Now, secret number four is to upload 30 to 60 videos on your channel. I recommend posting minimum once per week on your channel in the beginning. And if you can upload three to five times per week, and if you really wanna take this seriously, you can do daily content. If you can produce valuable content as well. Now, secret number five is to make sure that your content is monetizable. Because our worst case scenario is uploading tons of content to YouTube just to find out you can't even monetize it in the first place. So what types of content can't you monetize? This is typically content like TikTok compilations or YouTube compilations where you don't change anything else in the video and you're just re-uploading sports clips or something like that. These can be things that advertisers may not want to put their videos on as well. And I go way more into this in my YouTube course to mastering monetization, but essentially my checklist for making sure that your videos can get monetized is the following. Number one, follow YouTube's fair use policy. Number two, make sure to have a human voiceover or a very realistic voiceover within your video. Number three, make sure your content is transformative. And this in part means giving additional value in the form of your commentary on that video and making it suitable for a different market than the original video was intended for. And I'm not a lawyer, so this obviously isn't legal advice, but this is my understanding of it. And now secret number six, which will help your videos explode and get monetized way way faster is taking one of the juiciest, best parts of your video and putting it at the very beginning of your video in order to hook people and get their attention. This is especially applicable
applicable if you're doing entertainment-based faceless content. And another thing you can do is mention how at the end of the video, there's this extra hidden value that will make them want to watch through to the end of that video. For example, if you're making a video about the top 10 fastest cars, you might want to say something like, and just wait for number two and especially number one. These are cars you may not even believe exist. Sneak peeks like this build suspense and improve audience retention. And for example, if a video has a 75% audience retention rate at the beginning of the video and 50% or more in the middle, it's very likely to go viral across many niches. Obviously every niche is different and every circumstance is different, but these are the averages that I found after uploading hundreds of videos with over a million views each. And another thing you can do is ask a question towards the beginning of your video that then you immediately answer and then another question rises up and you answer that one right after that, which is kind of what I'm doing with this video. And essentially the way of structuring these videos really just provides the end viewer with more value. And that's what we're trying to do at the end of the day. If people want to be entertained, you hook them and then you give them a payoff. If people want to learn something, you ask questions that they're going to want to know about and you invoke curiosity and then you answer those questions and then ask the next logical question and then answer that. So you're giving people value along the way and also building up to a bigger payoff in the end. Like for this video, for example, your big payoff will be to get your channel monetized or get another one of your channels monetized. And the reason this is important for getting your channels monetized is that if people watch your videos longer, they do better in the algorithm and you'll hit those milestones faster. Now, secret number seven is to make longer videos because longer videos will accrue more watch time on average. Even if you only get 10% audience retention on a one hour video, boom, you just got six minutes of watch time. Also, if your video is longer than eight minutes, you can put multiple ad breaks throughout your video and that will allow you once you get monetized to make way more money. But you don't just want to make longer videos for the sake of them being longer. For example, I've had lots of videos blow up that are sub 10 minutes that are five minutes long. For example, one of the top videos here on Make Money Matt is only about five minutes long. What you want to do if you do go ahead and make longer content is to fill that content with extra value. So it's worth it for people to watch as much of that video. Videos at every length can go viral because it's all relative and there's more factors within the algorithm. For example, session time. If people go from one of your videos to another one of your videos. But if you want to get monetized fast, consider just making a couple of longer videos to see how they do. Now, secret number eight is to get monetized before you ever even get monetized. And trust me, I know that sounds absolutely crazy. And you're probably asking how in the world would I ever do that? And the answer is that you just have to implement a simple strategy, which I'm going to be sharing with you right now. You see on this channel you're watching right now, I was able to monetize this channel with only five videos on it. And I started making hundreds of dollars per day before the channel ever got monetized with ads. Now, how did I do that? With alternative monetization sources. Now, an alternative monetization source is essentially a way of making money from YouTube by referring traffic somewhere else and then making money either through selling your own digital product or any type of product or promoting somebody else's product as an affiliate. Now, if you go the affiliate route and promote somebody else's product, I personally would make sure that it's a high payout partner digital product. That means that it's charging over $500, so you'll get at least $250 every sale you refer. And digital product means that it can be fulfilled digitally. And the best type of digital product is an online course. Now, I have an online course called Tube Mastery, and we've paid out over $600,000 to affiliates. And a lot of those affiliates are directly here on YouTube. So that can certainly work to make a lot of money. And I personally make over $10,000 a month with affiliate marketing on my channels. Now, secret number nine is to jump into your YouTube analytics and look at a couple key statistics. So once you get about 30 videos uploaded on your YouTube channel, it's vitally important that you look into what's working, what's not, and then improve on the next batch of videos. So the way you do that is jump into your channel, just like I'm here right now, and then go on over to your analytics. And specifically what you want to go to is the content tab right here. And you want to see what your channel average click through rate is. This is what percent of people click to watch your video as opposed to all the other videos out there that they come across. And you want to make note of your channel's average click through rate. Mine right here is 5.7%. Then on every new video that you upload, if you go to your content tab right here and then go down to looking at an individual video, for example, this one, and then click the analytics button under that video. Then what you want to see is what percent of people click to watch your video. For example, this one is 8.4%. So this tells us that this thumbnail is a higher than average click through rate for our channel. So we're going to keep it. But if you upload videos that have lower than your channel's average percent, then what you want to do is design a new thumbnail modeling what's already working on YouTube and then throwing that thumbnail on that video that you already have uploaded. And sometimes you can help explode videos doing that. And next up, if you go back to your content tab right here and scroll down, you can see key moments for audience retention. So take notes of what's keeping people's attention, what's making retention go up and down. And then if you go to your audience tab right here, you can see when your viewers are on YouTube so you know when to post videos.
videos. So for me, that'd be about 10 a.m. in the time zone that I'm in. You can see what other videos that your audience is watching to give you more video ideas. And those are the key statistics to look at. And now secret number 10 is to follow this action checklist I'm gonna give you. Pick a niche that's been proven to work on YouTube, post at least 30 videos to your channel and stay consistent with an upload schedule. You can even schedule uploads directly within your YouTube studio if you want. Research and analyze the data from those 30 videos to map out your next 30 videos. Come up with some alternative monetization methods and make sure you're within a niche that can do that. The best ones are typically health, wealth, happiness, relationships, travel, and technology. Upload consistently, don't look back. A lot of people step into YouTube expecting hundreds of thousands of dollars their first month. Don't be one of those people. Instead, be someone who actually takes action with this and follows through with it to its logical conclusion, posting 60 to 100 videos. So you can potentially have a huge channel down the line. And once you start posting videos, do not let that momentum give up. Keep posting and reward yourself for every little milestone, even your first 10, 100 subscribers. Make sure to celebrate that so you stay motivated with this. It's vitally important that you do that. Now, as I mentioned, I monetized my faceless YouTube channel. And if you want to discover how to grow your very own faceless YouTube channels, check out this video right here next to me. It is essentially a free course that goes over exactly how to make money on YouTube without making videos. It goes over the best niches to do this in that I would personally do, how to get tons of views and subscribers, how to actually generate content, and how to make a ton of money doing this. Basically everything you need to know in this video right here. Check it out right here. Hope you got value. My name is Matt Parr, and I'll see you there.